Hello everyone, this is Rosalie and I'm here at Ancestry Herbals and here's uh, Rob, the new intern. He's in here weeding. Hi Rob. And Lexi's busy at work weeding as was Chris till I pulled him aside and Chris is here to tell us about Feverfew. Hey Chris. Hi everybody. So this is Feverfew. Right here. Tanacetum parthenium. Feverfew grows in actually quite a range of conditions here at Ancestry Herbals as we have all sorts of niches going on. This particular one is occupied by many different plants and it's kind of surrounded by some tall plants so the Feverfew is very able to get tall in the garden but sometimes if it's in the full shade it'll stay pretty short you know about 12, 18 inches tall. So here it's easily three feet. And so Feverfew is a very regular self-sower and it's a perennial. So it will come back every year, dies back to the ground every winter and then spread itself freely throughout your garden, farm, or what have you. <laughs> so we've never planted Feverfew, and we have plenty of it, and it's a, a blessing. One of the uh, great things about Feverfew is its ability to, to hold the flowers, so in case you have too much in your garden beyond your herbal medicine needs, you can make some cut flowers and put them on a display in your house and herbal bouquet. Beautiful. So I'll show you where we harvest the feverfew because you can harvest it um, usually about twice a year. And so there are almost always some yellowing leaves down at the bottom and we just grab as much as you feel ready to cut right above the yellowing leaves and then just cut it off there. And really as low as you can go is is better because it will continue to grow from there. And there is beautiful fever for you. Mm, smells good, huh? It does. Great. Anything else on fever for you, Chris? The thing that is jumping to mind. Well, thank you very much for taking some time to show us fever for you. You're very welcome.